What does the Automotive Hall of Fame mean to you, Jay? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of cool because when you're in TV, you know, it's like uh, the, the network will say, we're going to nominate you for Emmy and then we'll be uh, sort of pushing it on various websites. We'll be contact. So it, it's one of those things you, it's part of the business and people try to get it. You sort of run for it almost, you know? I mean, some people do, some people don't, but to a certain extent, you're kind of doing all, this just came out of the blue. It's like, oh, well, thank you. I mean, somebody uh, thought maybe this might be a good idea, probably because of Jay Leno's garage, because we feature so many different kinds, not just Lamborghinis and supercars and things like that. It's just all types of transportation from steam wagons to yeah. uh, gas turbine to guys. So it's more the history of transportation and, and the engineers and the men and women behind it. So I think it probably has more to do with that than anything else. Well, yeah. I mean, you certainly didn't run for it. Um, I know, I know you're a, you're a student of automotive history hugely, but what was your reaction? I mean, when the phone call came in, what? Well, I was, I was, I was uh, really honored by it. I thought, oh, well, that's pretty cool because I, you know, to me, to me, just coming from New England, there is a certain, you know, a guy who runs is better than a guy who walks, a guy who walks is better than he drives. And the guy who works with his hands is better than the guy who just sits and types at a computer all day. I mean, he probably doesn't get paid as much, but there's something more real about it. And to me, as a kid, I always admired men and to a certain extent women too, who could fix things with their hands and work with their hands. I mean, that was always, uh, I always believe the heart is healthiest when the head and the hands work together, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, you know, I, I tell jokes during the day, at night rather, and then during the day, I like to come to the garage and work on stuff. Because when you work on things, it gives you a perspective of how how hard it is to make money. When you only get paid 80 bucks to take a transmission out, and your hands are all cut and you're covered with grease and smell like transmission oil. It's like, oh, that's, that's, that's a hard 80 bucks to earn as opposed to just standing on the stage and talking and people throw dollars at you, which is it's just excellent too. Please don't, uh, don't get me wrong. I love that. But it does make you appreciate it, you know? When I, you know, I always hear friends of show business say, I got off at this. I'm not going there for this kind of money. I go, what are you doing on a Tuesday that's right. worth that kind of money? Okay. Right. I mean, right. you, you have to look at things from a normal perspective. And comedy is only funny when it comes from an everyman point of view. So when you work with your hands and you do mechanical things, you just appreciate the everyman point of view, you know?